Hello, my loves. Welcome to a new pick a card reading. Today, we're going to be taking a look at whether it's your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved, your crush. Are you on their mind? And if so, what are they thinking and feeling about you? As well as what would they say to you? And what action, if any, would they like to take next towards you in this connection? So for everyone who is new, as well as everyone who's part of this beautiful family already, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I am Dr. V. It's my absolute passion and purpose to be doing these readings for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe and get active in the comments because you will see how loving and supportive this group is. So as always, please do be gentle with yourself. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. However, if you are feeling really emotionally depleted right now, you don't have clarity on your unique journey with this special person, you may be feeling heartbroken, you could be in minimal to no contact and you just need answers. If you are there, then I recommend that you actually have a personal reading with me because that is what's going to get you the most clarity. I love doing live readings on video call. It's called the live reading experience. I'm one of the few people who offers that because I just love connecting with you. It's very healing, very transformative, and spirit can answer all of your questions right there in real time. I also offer video recorded readings, so you can go to livetarot.com forward slash readings to see my entire menu right there. All right, so without further ado, today is pick a spirit guide. So I have three beautiful spirit guides here for you. You can pick number one, number two, number three, or you can pick them all and take their messages for you. I've also given you some crystals to help you make your selection. So go ahead and take a deep breath. See which of these you feel most guided to. So for group number one, we have Lord Shiva transcendence rise up honor your inner force steps are being given dance with the universe okay so the crystal is the pink calcite for group number two we have Quan yin care and compassion choose to be love do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. And the crystal is the amethyst. For group number three, we have Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. And the crystal is the jade. So go ahead and make your selection and we will get started with group number one. My beautiful group one that chose Lord Shiva as well as the pink calcite let's see are you on their mind and stay with me until the end because we will also be pulling specific advice from lord shiva your spirit guide to you okay are you on their mind We have the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> we have the Nine of Swords. Interesting. So we have two nines here.
we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, and we have the Lovers. All right, so I feel like there is a lot of turmoil going on in this person's mind right now. Yes, you are definitely on their mind and they're very stressed out about whatever is going on right now between the two of you. The fact that we have the two nines here, I just think that there's a lot of tension there may have been words spoken. There may have been some drama that has happened here. Um, I feel like this person is in some sort of position here where they need to figure out what it is that they want moving forward. Okay, For some of you, I feel like with this right here, with the lovers and this ten of wheels, I just feel like this is not for everybody, but I do feel like for some of you, there's a third party situation here. Either this person is married or they are committed to somebody else, but deep down in their heart, that what they want is to be committed to you, not the other person. Now, with this lovers here, we do have three people on this card. That's why I'm wondering if for some of you, there is some sort of a romantic third party situation that is coming through very clearly here. And for others of you, I feel like we also have somebody here who looks a little older. So I feel like it depends on how it resonates for your situation. But here we may even have a third party situation that could be like family oriented. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a difficult, you know, divine feminine mother, mother figure or other, you know, feminine figures in your person's life you know, with this gray hair here, that might also be something in terms of a toxic distraction or some sort of very high stress situation. Okay, so I feel like this person is definitely dealing with certain types of drama in many ways in their life. And whatever that is, it is really stressing them out. They might feel like they're being pulled in different directions. You are constantly on their mind because if you look at this, you, you can see that they are struggling to make the right decision. They may not know what to do at this time. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a third party. But I do feel for, you know, those of you who it isn't a third party, there is still something here that is weighing on your person's mind. Right. There's certain stresses they have, certain issues that they are dealing with in their life right now that may also be right now getting in the way of what they wish to have with you. OK, so whether it's a third party or not, I feel like your person really wants this Ten of Pentacles with you. OK, so in their mind and in their heart, they are trying to figure out what is it? that needs to be done here in order to move forward and have this kind of relationship with you. Because I feel like one of the big struggles that this person has is that what they truly and deeply desire is everything that this Ten of Pentacles has to offer. And the thing about the Ten of Pentacles is that it's very stable, right? It's about having a stable, secure, loving relationship that feels very calm okay like this is the opposite energy of these two energies here right like these two energies are not exactly the energies of calm they're more the energies of anxiety you know defensiveness putting up walls with this nine of wands feeling very wounded feeling attacked feeling judged and criticized right so these are all very heavy energies of I am not feeling secure. I am not feeling safe. Um, I feel like something is threatening, threatening me and it's not you that's threatening them, but there's something in the environment, something in the circumstances. These are the energies of I am not safe. I have certain threats or issues that need to I need to deal with, but there is a part of me that is also afraid of letting somebody in, afraid of, you know, going down this path again. But I feel like 
this person loves you so much. You are the only person that they want to have that Ten of Pentacles with. And they it's almost like they want to run, not walk away from these energies towards this. Because this to them, even without like, you know, without this third party here, this connection is very much about I feel safe with you. You know, you feel safe with me. We trust each other. We love each other. We are each other's foundation. We are each other's safe harbor. And that's what I want to build. Okay, so I feel like this person is definitely going through some very dramatic, traumatic kind of times here. And what they're holding on to is that vision of the Ten of Pentacles, strong emotion, passionate love or hate, fire. See, this is why I'm saying like this is a confirmation also of the fact that they are going through a lot of very strong emotions right now. Whatever is going on here that is blocking them from having this with you is creating a lot of strong passion, which is love for you. But we're also getting the word hate. Okay passionate love or hate and I feel like they are starting to feel a lot of hate towards whatever may be the block here whatever person issue or situation that is getting in the way of this union see harp great happiness so again what they want to create with you is this harp look at the difference between these two this is again energy of chaos energy of problems challenges strong emotions this is the energy of okay heart playing right peace beauty ah oh, just everything flowing we are together we are safe isn't it interesting how we're getting those confirmations right there see wandering path enjoy the journey so as they're thinking of you they know that this path towards the love that you want the future that you want may be a wandering path and they know that there's been a lot of ups and downs a lot of twists and turns and yes they've tried to enjoy the journey but i think it's also starting to weigh upon them and maybe upon you as well you both may be getting tired of any kind of nonsense that you've had to deal with along the way Okay, so we're getting the return, a new story. You decide, alignment, it's coming together. There you go. So I feel like, again, this person and their thoughts of you, they want to make the decision, okay? They want to make a final decision, whatever this is, to get rid of these energies here. And there is this beautiful energy of the return, okay? So if you guys have been separated because of these issues, especially if there's been a third party separating you, I do feel that your person wants to write that new story. Look at this alignment. It's coming together and they are willing to make the decision to create that new story with you. Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. Okay, so this person, you know, there may be certain things because of their circumstances, because of maybe whatever blocks they may have. Maybe there are certain things that they haven't been fully authentic about. I'm not saying they're hiding anything from you, but I feel like whatever some of these strong emotions they might have, these strong thoughts and emotions, they might have you know, may not have told you the depth of their feelings yet. I feel like this person loves you more deeply than what they have been saying or what they have been able to say. So I feel like their expression of love to you is authentic, but they haven't been able to fully communicate it to you in the way that they want. I feel like they can't talk to you. For many of you, I feel like they can't talk to you the way they want. They can't see you the way they want, as in like meet with you or be like there's something blocking them from showing up, expressing their love and being with you fully the way they wish to be. Now, whether that is a third party, romantic person, not person, family situation, there is something that is blocking them from showing up fully, fully authentically and fully committed to you. And that I think is also causing a lot of stress. Nine of swords, nine of wands, a lot of stress, a lot of drama. 
Um, I feel like this person is going to be reaching a breaking point at some point here where it's like either they stand up for themselves, fix this whole situation before the resentment gets so bad, not the resentment they have towards you, but the resentment they have towards whatever is blocking this union, or they're going to have to walk away. There's, there's this heightening moment of emotion of this place in time that is coming. So let's see what they would say to you. And if you could take a second to give this video a like and a subscribe, thank you so much for your support. You have no idea how much just that helps me, my kids in the channel. Being apart from you has changed my life. I'm in a dark place right now. I will contact you soon. See? So that's why I said there is definitely, if you look at, to me, this message is exactly in alignment with this entire energy right here. See? It's a definite, it's definitely a dark place to be. I see you in the face of strangers. You are always with me. See, again, here we go. Now, this message I feel is very much in alignment with this energy right here. So now let's take a look at if any action, okay? Are they going to take action? If they are. And what would that action be? And then after that, stay with me because we will get uh, your spirit guides advice for you. So see, I feel like there's something here about the community around your person. Okay. That might be what is coming through that is toxic here. Okay. There's something about the people that are around your person. Okay. Something here about the community. Okay. Okay. And only, again, you would know depending on, you know, your specific journey with this person, your situation. But I feel like that is what is keeping them in this state of tension, in this state of not being able to be fully authentic here. So I feel like that is not a card of action. That is a card of I am still being held back by my community. See, so I feel like for many of you, this person could be a divine masculine or they are a feminine with a divine masculine in their life. That is also part of the problem. OK, so take that as it resonates for your situation. You might be one or the other here. But whatever this is, it also represents the fact that if you are watching for a masculine, this person is struggling to actually empower that masculine energy to step up and do something and take action. So I feel like they're also trying to harness, you know, that divine masculine power. Look at that. <laughs> In order to claim this twin flame. Or if you don't believe in twin flames, that's fine. This can also just mean a very deep connection that is meant to be. So again, I feel like this person very much wants to take action. They may be trying to, you know, create the courage, create the opportunity, step into a more powerful place um, and step up for themselves. So what does your spirit guide Lord Shiva want to say to you? Go for it. Wow. Beautiful. So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do the live or the video recorded reading. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I've created and used in this reading. Also make sure to check out the Blessed Twin Flame Necklace, which is a beautiful manifesting piece. All of these beautiful things are available at livetarot.com. So make sure you check them all out. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you all on the next one. My beautiful group two that chose Quan Yin 
as well as the amethyst right there. Let's see, are you on their mind? And also stay with me until the end because you will be getting specific advice from Kuan Yin at the end. So are you on their mind? If so, what are they thinking and feeling? We have judgment. We have the moon. Okay, so we have two major arcanas already. We have the Six of Cups. Do we have the Page of Wands? All right, so are you on their mind? Yes, and the reason why I say this is because of this judgment energy. This tells me that there is a strong desire within your person to have some sort of a second chance with you. So I do feel for many of you, there has been some sort of a separation from this person. And for some of you, it may be for a longer time as well, okay? For some of you, it's shorter. Others of you, it may feel like it's been dragging on a little, especially with that moon's energy. There seems to be a lot of confusion in your person's mind. There are things that they're not seeing clearly. And I feel like that is the reason why you may not be together right now. It's because there were certain truths that they did not wish to see okay about your situation about circumstances about people in their life for some of you i do feel that this person may have chosen other people in their life over you now here we're getting a child here and we're getting this page as well so for some of you it may be as simple as this person chose um, their child over you. And I don't mean that they had to choose, but there may be something here. And when I say child, people have adult children too. It doesn't have to be a young person relatively, as in it could be a, a child who is an adult. It could be a child who's a teenager. It could be any kind of parental also obligation, right? So it could even be a niece, a nephew, but I feel like for some of you, there is some issue that this person has. Um, either they have a, a, a child who is very toxic or manipulative of any age. It could be even an adult age um, that is really distracting them, that wants their attention, that for some reason they feel deeply obligated to because maybe um, this child is struggling, like not thriving. And so your person feels some sort of very deep, deep obligation to protect or take care of that person. And again, like I said, the child doesn't necessarily have to be a biological child. It could be somebody your person feels responsible for. But that person is somehow manipulating the situation. And for those of you who may be separated from this person, uh, your person at this time, it may be specifically because of that situation okay so that's not for everybody for others of you i feel like if you're separated at this time it's there's a moon's energy there's a lack of clarity around something that your person can't see about themselves okay so for those of you who it's not um, that third party, whether it's a child or some sort of parental obligation, for those of you who it's not that, I feel like this childlike energy is also about your person themselves. There's something within them, whether it is their childhood wounds, their childhood traumas, that side of them that is still a child within that is not able to see clearly past those wounds. 
And there's something about those wounds that are blocking them from having a reunion with you or from having the kind of relationship with you that they want. Now, the other thing that I also feel from this Six of Cups energy is that you guys are definitely soulmates. Okay, there's a soulmate energy here. There's a past life connection here. But again, it feels to me like for now, it feels like it's a little bit in the past that there are memories that your person is thinking about over and over again when it comes to you. So it's almost like right now they are, you know, longing for you, missing you, maybe watching you from afar, um, you know, living in their memories of you. If they can't have you right now because they've chosen not to or they've chosen somebody else over you because I do feel for some of you there's an energy here of they have chosen right now someone else over you and again that doesn't have to be romantic it can mean some responsibility or obligation they have to family as well that makes them choose those family members over you Okay, so again, take that as it resonates, but it feels to me that right now this person is living in their memories of you. And so if they have, you know, chosen other people over you, other situations that they, that need that they feel need their attention over you, it's almost like they're denying themselves of you right? It's almost like they are sacrificing. There's an energy here of I'm sacrificing my love for something else, for duty or responsibility or for something else that I need to do or someone else I need to be there for. Okay. And that is why this moon's energy is putting that veil over their eyes. They're not able to see past that. Okay. But deep down under this moon's energy, they are still longing for you. They are still desiring you. They are still maybe watching you from afar, whether you have social media or through friends or any which way they can find out about you. There is this energy of, I wish I could have a fresh new start. I wish I could press the reset button. I wish I could reunite or try this again with you. They're also fighting back the desire to reach out to you. The Page of Wands is also about wanting to initiate some sort of communication. There's a lot of passion. It's wands energy. So they're feeling a lot of passion towards you that they feel like they can't express also at this time. Okay. So there seems to be this pent up passion. There seems to be this desire to communicate, but you know, so much pent up desire that they don't know what to do. Like, should I reach out? Should I not? Should I just kind of live in my memories? But there's this rising, building up of tension also coming through in this person. Okay, so we have dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. So this is why I'm saying this may be, you know, like this may be some somebody in your person's life that fits this description. Like I said, whether it's a child or a family, you know, a family obligation um, or something from their past. If this is something about their own childhood trauma, there may be someone like this who is part of the uh, part of the problem, you know, part of what needs to be dealt with in the situation. Bird perched, waiting for news, package, or letter. Okay, so this person, they may want to deal with whatever these situations are, you know, depending on who you are and what the journey is with this person. But part of the reason why this person may still be holding back, even though they have this deep desire to move forward with you, part of the reason that they may still be holding back is because they're waiting for some news. Okay, so they're waiting for something. Um some new information. Maybe they're waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for something that is going to help resolve whatever this is so they can move forward. Okay. So that is interesting. So I feel like for those of you who you just can also feel because you are intuitive, 
I feel like you may be also feeling like there is some sort of time tension. You feel like this person, you're feeling in their energy that this person wants to reach out to you, but they may be hesitating or they may be waiting because they're waiting for some other news, something that is going to free them up from whatever is blocking them. So we're also getting Moonlight a second time, Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic. So again, I feel like whatever the block is, it is definitely coming through again with that moon's energy. Something is very murky. Something is not clear yet. And maybe when that news comes in, it will clarify this situation. Okay, so something here needs clarification, some news, some new information need, needs to come in or this person is waiting for it in order to bring ma magic back into this relationship. See, believe in magic. But right now we are journeying by moonlight because things seem to be dark. Things seem to be unclear. The fertile void, inner winter, rest, patience, potency, and secret beginnings. Wow. Okay. Wow. So group two, there is a very, very solid recurring theme here of things being a, a bit of a dark void right now. See, this is also darkness, right? There's something obscured. There is information, knowledge, news that needs to come to light. And that might change the situation or change this person's perspective. That will lift the veil from over their eyes. See, but right now they're going through that inner winter and you both may be going through that inner winter, but you need rest. You need patience because there is a secret beginning that seems to be on the other side of that. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. See? So I feel like this person has definitely felt weak or lacking in the strength to see the truth about a person, a situation, or something that is blocking this union or reunion, see? And look, this person is holding this this uh, globe and there's something inside, there's someone inside. So again, I feel like this person is struggling to see the truth about someone or a situation in their life that that they are very um, blinded by either love for the other person, attachment for the other person or situation. Like I said, it could be anybody, a family member, a child, anybody. But because they have a certain attachment to that person, there's emotion involved in there. They are not able to see the real truth about that person. So let's get some specific messages of what they are thinking and if you could take a second to give this video a like and a subscribe thank you so much for that because you have no idea it seems simple to you but you have no idea how much it actually helps me my kids and the channel i'm sorry i betrayed your trust i turned my back on you when you needed me most yeah yeah I think that that is a big one. This person may have had to step away from this connection when you really, really needed them. And it might be because of this, that other situation. Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. See, this is why I'm saying this is a confirmation of what we've seen already, which is this person is watching you from a distance. They are missing you from a distance. They didn't realize how painful, how difficult it was going to be to actually uh, leave you in some way, either step away. Like, I feel like they didn't realize, you know, they may have done it. There may have been a separation here due to ego, due to them being blinded by their love for somebody else. Again, not romantic but their love for something or attachment to something else. They thought, okay, I can handle this, but no, it's been a very, very dark and difficult time for this person. So let's see, are they willing to take action? Well, there you go. See, I just feel like this person, okay, like, I don't know why, but I feel like whoever, whatever this other situation is, it could be a karmic partner that could be romantic, but it could also be almost like they see 
the other person, whether it's a family member or an adult child who lives with them or something like that, they almost see that person as their partner. Like it's the two of them against the world, if that makes sense, you know? And I, and I don't mean that like intimately or like sexually or nothing like that, but sometimes it's a family member that we feel some sort of very like a very toxic attachment to because they live with us and we make them kind of our substitute partner in some way, right? It's emotional. So it feels like, okay, it's me and them against the world. And then they have a hard time having a true relationship with the person they're truly in love with. Okay. So that's a special message. Again, take it as it resonates. Yeah. So this person, they do want to take action though. I think this this is coming to some sort of a like, you know, it's time. It's time. Uh, there's no point in loving you from afar. There's no point in, you know, just longing for you. See, so they know that it's time. This shows us that it is time for them. They realize to make a decision. They're standing at a crossroads. They have to decide, are they going to continue on in whatever this toxic situation is? Or are they going to make the decision to create something new? And to me, this goes back to the energy of judgment. This is definitely that judgment energy coming through here again, full circle. Okay, so what does Kuan Yin want to tell you? Know your worth. I love it. Okay, so in this situation, this makes so much sense, especially if you feel that this person has prioritized other people over you. There you have it. Know your worth. So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you could do the live or the video recorded. You can also order the decks that I've created and used in this reading. You can also take a look at the Blessed Twin Flame Necklace, which is a beautiful manifesting piece. All of it is available at livetarot.com. Make sure you check it out. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next one. My beautiful group three that chose Diana and the Jade Crystal. Let's see, are you on their mind? And if so, what are they thinking and feeling about you at this time? And stay with me until the end because we will also be pulling advice specifically for you from Diana. So we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have Death. That one just flew out. And we have the star. Wow. Okay. So very interesting energies coming through. I feel like there's just been a lot. Okay. This person has been going through a lot. I feel like the two of you together have gone through many, many challenges. So I do feel with this death card that there has been some sort of an ending here. Um, that ending may have had a lot to do with secrets being kept, lies being told, some sort of sneaky behavior. For some of you, this person may have cheated on you. Um, yes, they are very regretful about it, but I also feel that it may be something that they don't know how to fix. Okay. Like this person has certain issues around, you know, being fully truthful about things. I feel like they do tend to have a bit of a sneakier energy. I don't think that they're, they're like a bad person. I feel like this energy, whatever is this kind of like dark side of them, comes from something in their childhood. Okay. That is not excusing their behavior in any way, but I feel like there's a part of them that has never fully grown up. 
there is a part of them that is still very childlike, very immature. And there's a part of them that for some reason doesn't seem to understand or care about the greater consequences to some of their own actions. And that's where this person, I think, suffers in life. And I feel like you could probably see that in other aspects of their life as well. It's not just with you. Now, at the same time, I feel that, that it's hard to say no to this person because there's something about them that is very sweet and childlike, okay? It doesn't matter how old they are, you know, they could be any age, but there's something about them. There's some sort of twinkle in their eye, something about their smile, something about the way they talk. They do care. They do have goodness within them. I feel like they also have a lot of potential for doing good in the world, but again, I feel like you may have been burned by this person, group three, because they have that very kind of like, you know, yin yang side. Like it's very interesting. On the one side, there's something about them that just draws you in because they can be really innocent, sweet. They have that naughty grin. They have that, you know, grit. Like, you know, they have that like glint in their eyes. There's something about them that just magnetically draws you in. They're very, you know, they're very good looking in your eyes. They have this way about them. This person can also be quite popular around other people. Like they know how to make friends. They could be quite popular with people. You know, there's something about them that is very vibrant and that's what brings you in, right? But then they struggle with those type of things um, in their own heart where, again, they tend to be a little bit mysterious as well. Sometimes you don't know what they're up to. And so I feel like in terms of their thoughts of you, they know, like they have, they've been thinking about you a lot. And I feel like they have a lot of regret around the fact that you are very much coming through here in their mind and in their eyes and in their heart as the star's energy. So I do feel that they think that you're too good for them, that they don't deserve you that you are kind of like much more mature. And again, it doesn't have to be by age. It's just in your soul that you have a certain type of knowledge. You have certain type of understanding. You are a rock star in your own life. Like you know what you're doing. You're, you're probably not as immature and spontaneous as this person. But that's why I'm saying sometimes those opposites attract. Like you might be somebody who's, you know, you know, really got it going on. Like you know who you are. You know where you're going. Going. You know, you have a sense of stability about you. You have a sense of self-awareness about you. You really are a star. You are somebody this person very much looks up to, but you may be attracted to them because they are some sort of an opposing energy. Like you're a planner. They're spontaneous. You think five years ahead. They think today, you know, and there's something very exciting something very exciting about that. Or it could be the opposite. But I feel like for many of you, you're this rock star. They're like this, um, you know, uh, they're like this, like I'm still up and coming. Okay, I'm still trying to figure things out. But it's very exciting. Okay, Their energy can be very exciting, even though they don't have everything figured out. So I feel like part of the reason why, if they've been dishonest with you in some way, if they've been mysterious, they don't necessarily have had to cheat on you. Maybe they're, you know, for some of you, it's not cheating. It's just they keep secrets. They're not fully upfront about who they are or what they're up to or what they're doing. Even if it's not cheating, it could be other things. I feel like part of the reason for this is also it comes from some sort of death in their own family. Like this person may have lost their mother father, guardian, some, somebody at a younger age. There may be something within them, some sort of a traumatic event experience that happened to them in their past that, again, has kept them very like childlike. That's kept them from fully growing up. Spirit is giving me the term Peter Pan complex. I don't know why. Take that as it resonates. There's something here about like a Peter Pan energy. I don't want to grow up. If I stay young and I just focus on having fun and I stay focused on excitement, then maybe I don't have to face this dark energy. I don't have to face my past. I don't have to face what happened. 
Okay, so I feel like if you guys have broken up with this death card also, I feel like in their thoughts of you, they're also thinking the same thing. Like they feel like, you know, it's hard for them to face the reality of what they did to you or how they acted towards you. And they see you as very much superior to them in many ways. Like with the star's energy, they just feel like, well, maybe it's okay because you know what? They were too good for me. Like you were too good for me anyway. Like I couldn't live up to that. Like, you know, I'm still kind of trying to find myself here. Um, uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty see so i do feel that inside this person there is something good and this is what they also see in you and this is why i feel like they do very much with the star and this treasure i feel like they see you as this incredible person that maybe they have done wrong because they are not ready for someone like you or they're not good enough okay for someone like you coins money will be coming to you okay so see this person may also struggle with money so i feel like for some of you this person may it may not be that they cheat on you or anything like that but maybe with that seven of swords what they're hiding is some sort of money problems need for money desire for money not able to earn money something so again i feel like they feel less than you in some way and now we're getting this treasure as well so this tells me with the money and treasure for some of you there may be something here about money that this person is being dishonest about um and it doesn't have to be anything terrible but they might be embarrassed about maybe not having as much money than you or maybe not or maybe having lost their job and not able to make money um, there's some sort of something here. So you would know depending on, you know, what your situation is Four leaf clover. See great and good fortune. So again, we're getting the same energy. I feel like this person feels very much like they struck treasure with you. Okay. You are the treasure, but they are not good enough for that treasure whether they're not financially good enough for you, whether they're not emotionally good enough for you, whether they're still kind of, you know, trying to find their way in this world and they don't know what they're doing. But there's something here about a, a difference in, you know, levels. Okay. This person wishes they could have more of this fortune in their life. They wish that their luck would change or turn, okay? But they probably also struggle with making that happen. You know, they may not be the most proactive. This person also, I feel like, again, with that page of wheels and look at the way they're holding that kind of wheel, that pentacle. I just feel like sometimes this person is definitely guilty of thinking that things are luck versus creating their own opportunities, okay? So that might be a challenge that they have. The thorn, protection, boundaries, and clear communication, okay? So if this person is staying away from you at this time, if they have withdrawn from you at this time, they're also thinking that it's probably better for you. It's their way of protecting you, um, setting boundaries, protecting, protecting you from themselves or protecting you from their bad situation or the bad decisions that they may have made. So they might be staying away from you entirely because they feel that they are not ready for you or they have nothing to offer to you. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you and you will always, and so you will always consider them. So see, I feel like this person, for many of you, I feel like this person has stepped away from you on purpose. Okay, either you dumped them because they were keeping secrets or they were doing shady things, or they walked away because they literally felt like they have nothing to offer to you. And the way they think of you now is as if kind of like you are their dream partner, like they still fantasize about you. They still act as if you're around them. They still feel your energy, but they feel like in the real world, in material life, you are better off without them because right now they just don't have anything to offer to you. So let's get their specific thoughts and if you could take a second to give this video a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much. I mean, it seems like nothing to you, right? But you have no idea how much it actually helps me, my kids and the channel. You understand me better than anyone else. 
your eyes can see into my soul. I can't hide from you. Okay, so to me, this is a direct response of that Seven of Swords. It's almost like in their life, they have found it easy to maybe deceive other people because like I said, they have that very like youthful, attractive, um, good looking, naughty energy that people can kind of like look beyond, you know, that, that beautiful smile or whatever it is. They have that charm, right? But you actually see through that and they know it okay so that's something they think about a lot that they can't hide from you because you are just different like they can't use that same charm on you it's not gonna work your silence feels safer to me I don't want to get hurt again. So see, this is what I'm saying. So right now, you know, you may have told this person off. You may have said, hey, like, I'm not going to put up with all of this, right? Like, I am a star. I know my value. I am not going to put up with all of this. So right now, this person's probably like, you know what? It's better if you're not talking to me. Like, I'm very emotionally fragile. Again, this person has that you know, immature kind of emotional energy, right? So they might be like, okay, you know, their ego may not be able to take communication at, for now, right? For now. So let's see, are they willing to take action, if any? Like, are they going to take action towards group three? Oh, see? So they do see you as their soulmate. And I feel like that goes back to that uncovering treasure. There's, they see the treasure within you. They see your value. I am not getting the energy at all from this person that somehow they don't think you're valuable. They don't think you know highly of you. I think it's almost the opposite. I feel like they almost think too highly of you. Too highly in the sense that they feel like they don't have much to offer you or have much that will make you happy or fulfilled in a relationship with someone like them okay so it's almost like they're making that decision for you so this is a seasonal card so for those of you who wear it is fall right now you may sense that there is some change in this person they may be trying to become more mature they may be trying to get their life together if it's not fall where you're at that's fine too this is also a card and energy of change of a desire that this person has to change to be better to um move forward in who they are to be, you know, less of this very kind of, you know, um, very spontaneous, very kind of like not entirely stable energy. So I do feel that the desire is there that they have that, hey, I need to change my circumstances. I need to like get myself into a better position to even be you know, worthy of you. So I feel like this person may be looking towards family for help. Okay. So I do feel that while they are thinking of you, loving you, see you as their soulmate, I feel like they're trying to get their act together. They may be asking family for some support or help in getting them back on their feet. Again, I feel like there is something here about money, uh, work, living situation, maybe something that this person, they want to come towards you, but it's almost like they don't want to come towards you until they have something stable to offer you until they can be standing on their two feet and in a stable place okay so i feel like they may be asking friends or family uh for support and trying to get them there okay so that is what's going on but they are definitely thinking of you admiring you loving you thinking you're their soulmate but i feel like they're trying to get their life together right now so what would diana have to say to you see the bigger picture Okay, that is Diana's advice to you, group three. So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do the live or the video recorded. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I've created and used in this reading. You can also order the Blessed Twin Flame Necklace, which is a beautiful manifesting piece. So check it all out at livetarot.com. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one.